Good afternoon, everyone. I woke up late again because I was up editing again. This is the first day it has not been sunny in a while. All right, so I'm streaming already. The cup starts a lot earlier than I thought. It starts at four and not six, so don't have time to go outside. But that's fine. We'll stay in today. <sighs> Play with these two, Shadow and Beast. Stream on, on Twitch. Yeah, it's just a USS order. What up, world? I wish I went outside today. I regret it. I streamed for five hours. We did pretty good in the tournament. We managed to get top 8%. We got 125 points, which is the most amount of points I've had in a tournament. So that was good. Could have done better, but a lot of things just, just happened. Like, just, I don't know. It's hard. <laughs> it's hard. I just finished editing yesterday's vlog. It's going up. This video is like, there's nothing in it yet, so I need to do something. I think first I'm gonna go eat. So I can hop off of here finally. Video's uploading there. Just leave it alone. Uh, I just uploaded 20 shorts to the shorts channel. If you guys wanna check that out, I'll be uploading more, but it's just um, V3 Eye shorts. I'll put a link down below so you can see it. Great. Hungry. Watch a bit of Joe Rogan. Sorry, no, I'm not. I'm watching Russell Brand. <laughs> Making it a bit powerful. Whenever I'm alone, I eat so simply. I don't know why. I just put no effort into freezing myself. I just eat so simple. And then, hold on. When I'm with, when I'm with people, I like making extravagant meals because it's more fun. But yeah, when I'm on my own, it's just so so, so simple. All right, so I found my trauma journal. This is actually a trip journal where I used to write down my trips, but there's also a lot of trauma in here because I use it as a diary. I haven't read any of this since 2019 when I wrote it, but I wanted to share a piece. I wrote it about my last relationship. I wrote it down to make sure I wasn't going crazy, make sure I wasn't making it, making it up. So I wrote it all down as it happened so I can look back in the future and know that I wasn't in the wrong with my decisions. Anyway, I wanted to share it because I thought it was interesting. I just read it over and it's, it's okay. It's not explicit so much really. Well, this, this journal entry is titled Good Morning in brackets. It all started when she woke me up with the cat. I was enjoying it until the cat stood on my beard. I let out a yelp. She tells me I don't feel pain, then calls me a pussy. I stand up to pee. She makes a remark which I ignored. Was I in the wrong? Things escalate and she tells me her inter interpretation of my video. She tells me that I'm planning to leave or something. I forget. Then she says nothing is forever and that we should enjoy our time together now because it won't last forever. I see this as another sign to not get comfortable. I wanted to walk out and start my day, but then she called our friends and hearing them made me relax a little. After the call, she says, you look terrible because of three acne spots on my right cheek, making me more insecure about this lingering problem that I haven't fixed. We get close again for a moment. At some point during arguing, she says, I feel sorry for you for not having sex. Alluding to the fact that she barely touched my skin all month. Mocking? Or does she really think I'm only here to sleep with her? I told her before we, we met, I was happily abstinent. Sex has caused me so much sadness the past few years. And later at the reptile store, she gets mad when I cleared my nose on the ground. In brackets, she smokes tobacco indoors. <laughs> The bottom of the page is ruined by rainwater, so I can't actually read it. Whenever I let my guard down, she jabs me with an emotional blade. We caught the wrong tram back home, left the station, I ask, what's the plan? As I always do when our movements are unclear, she responds with, we're walking. What does it look like? So I say we're going the wrong way, she follows my direction home, walks speedily ahead of me, and then turns around going the other way, hits me in the chest and said, well done for using your brain. I let her go. I can't be around when she's purposefully making me feel uncomfortable. Now I'm outside our home, writing my thoughts so I can look back and be reminded of how things kept going bad between us. She smokes weed all day and takes four hour baths which isn't giving me any creative motivation whatsoever. It's like watching an apple go bad for four months. Making videos in this environment is exhausting. Being stuck in this poverty complex is really taking its toll on my happiness. Maybe that's the energy she picks up on and why she's so quick to anger. Today she said, you think you're always right, but didn't elab elaborate on that. Um, the bottom of that is ruined because of the rain. 
I don't know how much longer to, to avoid confronting her. It seems pointless. Like anything I say could change her already made mind about me. What does she see? What did she, what did she ever see? I haven't had any serious girlfriends, so I'm puzzled why she is giving me her time. I should have listened to the signs at Azora. I went against all my own rules. Falling in love is, is literal. It's not a stumble or a skip, but a fall. I'm glamorous, idiotic. Had I used my brain a little bit more? Maybe not wholeheartedly trusted the mushrooms? I wouldn't be here. Never have I felt like I'm on my divine path more than right now. So why do we clash so hard? I understand love isn't easy, but I didn't expect this. Everyone online says how happy I look now. Am I that good at hiding things? The next journal entry is what I wrote before taking my acid trip. Unfortunately, a few lines are missing here. Feeling calm and collected. Cleared the air with my partner last night. She wished me luck today. Time to breathe. <laughs> and then the next journal entry is six, six months later on a boat. I did an acid trip and asked, asked the compound, am I supposed to be here? Is this where I'm supposed to be? Am I supposed to be with this person? And it gave me all of my answers. And I left immediately afterwards. I just wish I had asked those questions months earlier instead of waiting so long and getting so hurt. Obviously, I'm not going to name who this is about. Please don't write about her in the comments. It's done. It's over. It's been years now, so we can move on. I just haven't read that in two years since I wrote it. And I've already moved on past this emotionally. I'm, I'm fine. But reading it back and realizing how sad I was in the moment and confused and kept doubting myself because of the way she made me feel. I'm just happy that I managed to get out and that I now make better choices with who I spend my time with. You'll notice, especially in the vlogs, because obviously I'm filming every day, how much time I spend on my own. I don't even hang out with family, really. It's just me and the dog. And I'm lucky to even have him, because he's usually busy. I'm just very careful with who I share my time with, because I've been hurt by so many people. And it's not that I have loads of walls up, I'm just smart, and I can read people now. I didn't used to be able to read people very well before, but now I can. So, I'm very careful with who I spend my time with. And if you ever see anybody in the vlogs, please support them, because I love them very much, and I trust them enough to be around them. So yeah, if anyone shows up in the videos, they're probably a good person, and maybe you should follow them, They're probably you'll probably enjoy them as well. But yeah, please don't go after the person this is about, like, don't, don't tag her or anything like that. Just let it be. She doesn't know I kept journal entries. Life's weird. Like, that was only two years ago. And so much has happened in between that time. Okay, I'm gonna end this video here. It's been a weird one. I haven't been outside in two days. <laughs> I'm really gonna push myself tomorrow to get outside. I don't know why I've been inside for two days. I think the only reason I'm even noticing is because I vlog now every day. Before vlogging, I probably did this. Spending multiple days inside without realizing. I've been past couple of days sleeping 12 hours a day or being I've been in bed for 12 hours a day the past couple of days I'm doing 12 hours and 12, 12 hours out and I need to get out of the habit today was okay I did yoga then immediately started gaming a game I twitch streamed for like seven hours so I missed my entire day again kind of just get sucked into it all but yeah anything comforting you can say in the comments winter's hard man it's January 22nd I'm grinding through trying to get to the summer months so I can open up again, blossom again, but it's tough. I hope everyone else is doing okay out there. I'll see you tomorrow, and we'll go on an adventure. Bye.